Hello everyone, welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Today I wanted to bring you guys a full crafting guide explaining how I go through and craft gear including Epic Crafting. The link that I find very helpful is a quick point rating system. I kind of transported mine from Summoner's War, but I know that Dr. Squirrel did an amazing job summarizing that, so make sure you check out that video on it. I will link it in the description below. But points work as follows. Attack percentage, defense percentage, effectiveness, effect resist, crit damage all count as one point. Flat stats do not count as a point and speed crit chance count as two points. I rate crit damage at one because it is easier to do so in my head, but you could really do it at 1.5 as that is the true value if you go into things like fribbles. But basically, I set a number of points a piece of gear must meet in order for me to keep it. My number is about 18. I will go less if they are really good synergizing pieces, but any more than that, on a piece of gear is really solid. Your number may be less or more than mine based on how good the rest of your gear is. But let's jump into crafting so I can show you how I score gear to keep it. Before we get started, I wanted to explain the basics for those newer players who don't know the basics quite yet. Your helmet, weapon, and chest are considered left side pieces as they are all on the left side of your character when you're gearing them. They always have the same main stats, but swords can't proc defense or defense percentage and chest can't proc attack or attack percentage. Next, rings and boots are right side pieces because they are on the right side of your character. These pieces are significantly harder to obtain because the main stat is now RNG. Necklaces, in addition to the normal percentages, can proc crit damage and crit chance. Rings can proc effectiveness and effect resistance and boots can proc speed. This means that the left side pieces will never want to be flat stats, as it is more beneficial to do in percentage stats such as attack percentage or crit rate. In general, when crafting, I like to focus on one side in a session just so my mind doesn't stray away. If you really, really need boots per se, go ahead and only craft boots, or if you need chest, only craft chest. This way, you know, oh, on speed on boots, I really am looking for that speed main stat, so it's easy kind of just to focus. And sometimes, truthfully, I've done it before, if you're looking at chests and you like you keep on not proccing attack percentage because it's impossible you you throw away a lot of extra gear that you should have almost kept but let's get right ahead i need a lot of speed boots so i'm going to be crafting a few speed boots and I'll, I'll go around but to begin with here's our first one and i'll go through this so as far as blue gear goes i either like to extract it or sell it depending on what i need i kind of need gold right now so i'm just gonna sell everything purple gear it's the same way i never keep blue gear by the way this can totally be up to you but this piece right here is a garbage piece it has one speed two flat stats and his attack percentage on boots that's something we don't really want to look for but the piece right below it is quite interesting it is speed so that is one of the best pieces in the game are speed boots and it has two decent synergizing pieces if i were to rate this on a gear score it would be 15 and a flat stat doesn't count and this is also a crit set but truthfully this is speed boots so i'm going to go ahead and keep this because if you really counted the main stat it'd be like a 28 score piece and let's go over to the next one. This is a defense percentage, it has attack, but those like those stats don't synergize. While it does add up to 17% on my score list, it doesn't synergize very well, so I'm gonna throw it away. Same with this, it's a flat stat on boots, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And this one is attack percentage with speed. It does have four speed, six effect resist, and a flat stat. So truthfully, it would be a 14 gear score if you didn't count the main stat, which you shouldn't when you're crafting right side pieces. The reason I'm going to keep this one is because of the speed. Having four speed on a purple piece is quite good. And if you're speed chasing, you're going to want to keep all pieces of gear that are above three speed. So let's go ahead and sell these and we can go ahead and lock these as well. And I'm going to go and craft it again. So again, we see that we have a lot of red pieces, which is this looks nice, but let's not get carried away. So right away, I'm going to look for flat stats. I'm going to look for blue pieces and I'm going to throw them away. So we'll start up at the top left. This one is a speed main stat with a fit. It's a, a hit set health percentage, effect resist and flat defense. This speed, this piece is OK for a tank. Remember, sets don't mean everything. So you can look at this piece like, OK, it synergizes pretty well, but sets do not mean everything. So I'm going to go and keep that piece. Let's move over to this one. This is a speed set and a speed as a speed main stat. This is going to be a guaranteed keep most of the time, but these subs are probably the worst subs you can possibly get. It's three flat stats. So I'm going to throw that one away. And then this one is attack main stat, which is okay. But if you look at the subs, they're very tanky. Same with this piece over here. It's a speed on a hit set, but the subs aren't too good. So I'm gonna throw it away. This one, low, low procs on the subs. So I'm gonna throw that one away as well. This piece right here is a health percentage with a max roll and crit chance and a max roll on attack or a min roll, mid roll on attack. 
and two, the other two subs aren't too good, but these alone add up to 16%. So this could be a good bruiser piece for like Apoc Ravi, even though she'll want speed, but in case I have so much speed on my other pieces, which I don't. So I'm gonna go and sell those. So now that you know kind of what it looks like to craft boots, let's go on to a more general piece, say a sword. So go ahead and craft this. And you, you guys are always gonna wanna craft 85 gear, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but always craft 85 gear. So again, I follow the same general rules, throw away all blues and be careful because these are all the same stats. You're not gonna really have to look at the main set too much, which is nice. So let's go and look at purple. So for purples, I'm gonna have a little higher, I would say gate, because this, this piece right here is a speed, set but it doesn't have speed so i don't really want it this is a crit chance but it doesn't have crit chance or attack or crit damage so it's it's not very good you you do want speed on there as well but that piece just has low rolls and a flat stat this piece right here again speed no speed so i'm going to sell it this one is crit chance but it has four speed four crit chance and a few tankier things so this could be good for another bruiser like that so i'm going to go and keep that piece and i'm going to throw this one away because it's just too low procs for me and this speed piece right here is no speed so i'm gonna go and throw it away as well so we'll go and sell that and as you can see i only got one piece out of there and even at that it's a mediocre piece so when you're crafting guys it takes a while this game takes a long time so don't worry about it too much all right you going another craft here i'm gonna throw away all my blue pieces just do a quick look this is effect set i'm not gonna keep it because it doesn't have an effectiveness this piece right here is speed. It has low roll on crit damage and mid rolls on attack and effectiveness, but it has no speed. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Same with this one. This one right here is okay. I'm going to keep it just because of the speed. And this one, I'm going to keep it just for the speed. See how it rolls later because effect resist and health and speed synergize quite well together. So that piece is not too bad. And I don't want to hold you guys for too long today. So I'm just going to go into the effort crap system. And this system is pretty new to Epic 7, and I really, really like it. So if you go in here, you can click Epic Craft. After you craft, you can read this chart here on how many points you get. You can go ahead and Epic Craft, which will be a guaranteed Epic piece to all these. This, in my opinion, I'm kind of torn on what is the best piece to craft with this. I would almost say left side just because it's less RNG and you're getting consistently better gear out of it. But if you really need right side gear, like many people do, go ahead and craft right side. And as far as sets go, at least on Wyvern, crit set and speed set are almost always what you're gonna do, mostly speed. So if we craft here and yeah, so it's health percentage set. So it's not bad, honestly, cause I see attack or defense percentage. I need, I see crit damage. So this is a good bruiser piece. It's not speed on boots, which kind of sucks because 99% of the time you're going to want speed boots. But if we go to something like a weapon per se on a speed, this requires less RNG. So for example, this piece I just rolled is actually pretty good. I'm missing speed and crit chance if I were to really nitpick it, but the attack is high. It's a speed set, so there's no speed. So I might, I might just see how that procs once. If it doesn't proc good, I might get rid of it. Yeah, this right here is not too good of a piece. It is a speed set with speed and it's epic. So I might go ahead and lock that and keep it for later. And as far as equipment conversion goes, this is going to be a more later game topic. So many of you might not be able to do all this stuff, but it's good to know just in case later on you're going to want to use it. So there's a few things in the equipment conversion that are pretty confusing. I would say typically there is a few givens such as only use attack percentage on your weapons and only use health on your heads and only use uh, defense on your chest. The reason I say this is because you, you actually can use these on these pieces. Newer players might get rid of them because they see them that I don't know what to do with them. So make sure to only use the flat stuff on the corresponding piece guys. As far as this goes, obviously boots only use speed there. That's typical. But as, as we go into like more complex stuff, I would typically recommend that you only use your attacks on your rings. This is because effect resist and effectiveness aren't used near as much as attack. So this is a big step because see, you can use attack here and you can also use attack on this. I would recommend again, using it only on the rings because your crit hit and your crit damage can go on your necklaces. And this is where you're going to want to put those obviously, because it's the only place you can put those. And another quick tip, which is kind of self-explanatory, but you guys want to make sure you always get these to epic because there's going to be no other point in doing it. So for example, on speed boots, most of the time I select speed. So you're going to want to always select 70. If you can't do 70, just wait, go extract some gear and then do 70 just so you can get the epic piece. Yeah. But as you can see here, I got a decent piece of gear. It is speed, obviously on a speed set because I just crafted it. It is an epic piece, which is nice. 
So I'm gonna go and lock it because these two stats don't do too well together, but I need speed boots. Make sure I'm bad. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, guys, I really hope you learned something new. If you did like the video, please make sure to like and subscribe and put the bell on for future notifications as I will be doing a bunch of other videos just like this one in the future. Peace.